Number 12. Frilled Shark The prehistoric-looking frilled shark lurks far below the ocean's surface in the deep, dark waters of the continental slope. Dubbed a living fossil for its primitive appearance, this long, cylindrical, eel-like species reaches roughly 6.5 feet or 2 metres long. Its fins are set far back on its body and it has six pairs of distinct frilly gill slits, hence its name. Frilled sharks are predators who often swallow their prey whole, and they are also equipped with several rows of sharp teeth for when the need arises. They feed mainly on squid, but also eat fish and other sharks. Humans rarely encounter frilled sharks in the wild due to the extreme depths that they dwell in and because the population itself may be small. Most of what scientists know is based on specimens that were snagged as bycatch in deep sea nets. Mothers give live birth as soon as their young are developed enough to survive on their own. Little else is known about the habits, ecology and reproductive cycle of frilled sharks, which are considered near-threatened with extinction based on how seldom encountered they are. Number 11. Fanfin Sea Devil The Fanfin Sea Devil is one of at least 168 known anglerfish species. It's arguably one of the most nightmarish looking fish on the planet, with its gaping mouth full of razor sharp teeth and an array of protruding bioluminescent tentacles. This pitch black species is found in what's called the bathial zone, at depths between 330 and 4950 feet, that's up to 1500 meters deep. Females reach up to 8 inches or 20 centimeters long, while males are a measly half inch or 1.5 centimeters long at most. Humans had never witnessed a live fanfin sea devil until 2018, when a group of researchers captured footage of a mating pair 2,600 feet or almost 800 metres below the ocean's surface. Anglerfish engage in one of the most bizarre reproductive processes in the animal kingdom. They mate for life, but not in the way you would assume. In what's known as sexual parasitism, males latch onto females and live off their blood supply. Meanwhile, the male permanently fuses with the female and becomes entirely dependent on her for nutrients, while his eyes, fins and all his internal organs, except for his reproductive parts, degenerate. All he becomes is a ball of testes with eyes. Why nature? Why? Finding a mate is difficult in the deep sea, which is why scientists think anglerfish evolve such a unique and drastic reproduction method. Number 10. Zombie Worms Ossidax is Latin for bone eater, which is an approximate term for the genus of marine creatures that also goes by the nickname zombie worm. At first glance, the feathery organisms look like plants, but they are a type of aquatic worm that secrete acids that enable them to bore deep into the bones of dead animals. Because they lack a mouth and a stomach, they are also equipped with special bacteria that convert the proteins and fats from the bones into nutrients. Zombie worms display something called sexual dimorphism, with the females measuring up to 2 inches or 5 centimetres long, while the males are microscopic and never develop past the larval stage. Scientists discovered the Ossidax genus in 2002 on the skeleton of a decomposing grey whale at a depth of nearly 9,500 feet, that's almost 3,000 metres. They are still learning about these creatures, with some experts speculating that zombie worms feed specifically on whale bones, while others are less quick to assume that they're picky eaters. In one experiment, they readily colonised cow bones that were suspended near the sea floor. Critics allege that this test was unrealistic, because it's highly unlikely for terrestrial animal bones to descend to the bottom of the ocean, and is therefore not a realistic basis for gauging the zombie worms' food preferences or habits. For as little as we know about them, evidence of worms resembling the Ossidax have been found in dinosaur fossils dating back as far as 100 million years ago. Number 9. Deep Sea Hatchetfish The 45 known hatchetfish species are found at depths of 600 feet to 4,500 feet or about 180 to 1,300 metres deep. Named after their hatchet-like body shape, they are extremely thin and range in length from 1 to 6 inches, that's 2.5 to 15 centimetres, with the largest species being the giant hatchetfish. Agyropelicus gigas blah 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 like anyone's going to ask you. Hatchetfish, as they are better known, have large upward-facing eyes that are extremely light-sensitive and capable of detecting shadows from above. They're also equipped with photophores that run along their underside and produce light via a chemical reaction similar to that of the firefly. Scientists believe that hatchetfish use their photophores for mating and to hide from predators by adjusting the light level to match the faint light from overhead. 
but expert knowledge on the creatures is limited because deep sea marine life is incredibly difficult to access and study on the regular. While most researchers agree that hatchet fish live for roughly a year on average and that they likely migrate to shallow waters to feed at night, much of this knowledge is speculative at best, showing just how much we have to learn about our little explored oceans. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. What kind of videos are you here for? And if you're liking this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 8. Goblin Shark The goblin shark, or Mitsukurina alstoni, is the only living member of the 125 million year old Mitsukurini Day family, earning it a reputation as a living fossil. Measuring between 10 and 13 feet, or 3 to 4 meters long on average, and weighing as much as 460 pounds or 200 kilos, it has a distinctive elongated snout and a protruding jaw filled with up to 62 rows of nail-like teeth. This prehistoric specimen lives at depths of greater than 330 feet or deeper than 100 meters, and some scientists believe that goblin sharks sometimes dive as far as 4,270 feet or 1,300 meters below the water's surface for short periods. They spend most of their time on the seafloor along the continental shelf, hunting squid and other prey, including fish and crustaceans. When a goblin shark has spotted a target, it extends its jaw up to 3 inches, 7.5 centimetres outward, and snatches its meal. Experts have limited knowledge of these elusive creatures, but believe that goblin sharks are sluggish in nature due to their flabby bodies and small fins. Thankfully, their extendable jaws make up for their slow speed. Researchers also think that the species is solitary, like most other sharks. Human interactions with the goblin shark are certainly rare. Some of the first known observations, dating back to 1910, describe the species as grotesque. These sharks never survive in captivity for long, and the extreme depths at which they live make it very difficult for scientists to research them. And for these reasons, they are largely a mystery. Number 7. Mariana Snailfish Found at depths between 20,000 and 26,500 feet, between 6 and 8,000 metres, the Mariana snailfish is one of the few creatures who can survive in the ocean's deepest region, known as the Hadal Zone. It is one of only three species ever caught at a depth of over 26,000 feet, or 8,000 metres, and was discovered in 2014 using deep water traps during the expedition of the research vessel Falcor. This pale, tadpole-like species measures up to around about 11 inches or 28 centimetres long and lives near what scientists consider to be the theoretical maximum depth possible for fish to survive at. The Mariana snailfish is armed with special adaptations to help it survive the pitch darkness and extreme pressure that comes with being miles below the surface, which equals the weight of roughly 1,600 elephants according to National Geographic. This translucent species lacks pigment and has no scales and thin muscles. It's also nearly or completely blind and the ossification of its bones, namely its skull, is incomplete. The creature is specially equipped for deep sea living, even at the cellular level, with specialised membranes that allow cells to maintain their flexibility. Its eggs are also unusually large, measuring roughly a third of an inch or a centimetre in diameter, which experts also believe is an adaptation to the Mariana snailfish's habitat. Number 6. Telescope Octopus To observe a telescope octopus in its natural habitat, you would have to travel at least 6,500 feet, or almost 2,000 metres, below the surface of the Indian or Pacific Ocean. This creature is so transparent, it's nearly colourless. It has eight arms that are all the same size, with a delicate webbing between them. The telescope octopus has several traits that distinguish it from other octopi. For one, it does not swim horizontally to the seafloor, but instead suspends itself vertically and drifts through the water, which scientists believe may make it more difficult for predators to spot the creature from below. Additionally, the species has a pair of rotating tubular eyes that give it wide peripheral vision, enabling it to spot more predators and prey, hence the nickname Telescope Octopus. Researchers can't fully explain the evolutionary mechanisms behind the animal's bizarre peepers, and it's the only known octopus species that has eyes like this. Some scientists believe that the telescope octopus and some other species have evolved to spend their entire lives in a larval stage. This phenomenon, known as neoteny, is characterized by slowed or delayed physiological development and sexual maturity during the juvenile phase. Number 5. Mysterious Creatures Are there monsters in the Mariana Trench? Life here looks like it's from another planet. 
Recent expeditions have shown more and more creatures living at the bottom of the seafloor in the deepest place on Earth. But how big can they get? And how scary are they? A strange noise recorded by a bioacoustics project shows strange noises coming out of the trench. Now known as the biotwang, the mysterious metallic sound might be the noise from a whale. The call includes sounds that span frequencies that reach as low as 38 hertz and as high as 8,000 hertz. The call was recorded with autonomous seafaring robots known as passive acoustic ocean gliders, which can dive up to 3,200 feet or 1,000 meters below the surface. Based on the type of the call, researchers think it closely resembles sounds produced by dwarf minke whales off the coast of Australia. But the call sounds much more like something from a Star Wars sound effect. And what is a whale doing down so deep when they have to come up for air? Another strange sound captured was the bloop, a mysterious underwater sound that could be ice moving, a whale, a giant squid, or something else entirely. The trench is actually full of strange alien sounds that we have no idea who made them. What deep sea creatures lie beneath the surface that we've never even heard of? For now, they are mysterious monsters until we can actually identify them. After all, the Kraken was probably a giant squid, a scary, terrifying monster, until we got to know it a little better. Number 4. Fangtooth Fish The name assigned to the common fangtooth is self-explanatory. These demonic-looking deep-sea predators have mouths filled with long, pointed teeth that they use for snagging prey. These terrifying creatures are known to dwell at depths of over 16,000 feet or nearly 5,000 meters, although they migrate towards the surface at night to pursue fish and crustaceans. Unlike many other deep sea creatures who are ambush predators, the fangtooth fish actively seeks out prey, relying heavily on its sense of smell to detect potential targets in the near complete absence of light. The common fangtooth is rather small, reaching just 7 inches or 18 centimetres long, and its teeth are the largest in the ocean in proportion to its body size. It even has special pouches in the roof of its mouth to accommodate its fangs and to prevent them from piercing the fish's brain. Despite the species' frightening appearance, it's harmless to humans, especially since it's highly unlikely for a person to cross paths with one. Scientists don't know much about the species' mating activities, given the difficulty of observing the fangtooth fish at the extreme depths at which it lives. They do know that it procreates via external fertilisation, with females releasing eggs and males releasing sperm into the water at the same time. Number 3. Granrojo Jellyfish Nicknamed Big Red, the Gran Rojo jellyfish is the only known species in the Tiburonia genus. Scientists spotted the creature as early as 1993, but did not officially describe the species until 2003. This unusual jellyfish dwells at depths between 2,000 and nearly 5,000 feet between 600 and 1,500 metres below the water's surface. As one of the largest known jellyfish species, Big Red exhibits a condition known as deep sea gigantism, which is a tendency for deep dwelling organisms to grow much larger than their shallower relatives. While the causes for this condition are not fully understood, it causes the Gran Rojo jellyfish to grow up to 30 inches or 76 centimeters in diameter. Unlike most jellyfish, this species has no tentacles. Instead, it has between four and seven fleshy arms that it uses for capturing food. The number of arms varies by individual, which surprised scientists since this is a trait that typically defines a species, according to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. Researchers are still learning about this fascinating creature, including what it eats, who its predators are, and its role within the ecosystem. Number 2. Deep Sea Dragonfish The 57 known deep sea dragonfish species are found between 650 and 6,560 feet, so between 200 and 2,000 metres underwater. Although they're small, measuring just 6 to 10 inches, so 15 to 25 centimetres long, these apex predators are nevertheless frightening, with fang-like teeth and enormous jaws that open up to 120 degrees, enabling them to catch large prey. These adaptations help deep-sea dragonfish get enough to eat in an environment that conspicuously lacks a variety and abundance of food. Like many deep-sea fish, these creatures are bioluminescent, producing their own light using organs called photophores on the sides of their body and at the end of a lure-like barbell that protrudes from their chin. The deep-sea dragonfish waves this barbell back and forth to attract prey and mates. These are the only fish that are capable of generating and seeing red light, which gives them a significant advantage over other deep-dwelling marine creatures. By emitting red light, deep-sea dragonfish can look for prey without other animals noticing since they can't see it. Scientists even believe that they may use this special ability to communicate with one another. 
But red light does not travel far underwater, so the fish must get pretty close to its prey before going in for the kill. Thankfully, deep sea dragonfish are extremely dark, which also helps them move in on their target unnoticed. Number 1. Varrel eye fish. Named for the pair of tubular eyes set deep inside its transparent head, the elusive barrel eye fish was first described in 1939. This alien-like creature is considered to be one of the most peculiar species found within the ocean's pelagic zone at depths of up to 2,600 feet. The fish's eyes are very adept at collecting light, and a 2009 study found that its transparent head is probably an adaptation that helps it see in its pitch-dark environment. Additionally, the study determined that the fish can rotate its eyes, disproving the previously held belief that it could only look upward. The eyes are also green, which experts believe helps filter out sunlight from overhead and also helps the fish spot bioluminescent prey. Researchers base their conclusions on observations gleaned from the rare opportunity to study a live specimen which managed to stay alive for a few hours when brought to the surface. Many questions still surround the 19 known barrel eye fish species, including exactly how their vision works and whether their unusually short body is a bizarre evolutionary adaptation. Number 10. Giant Catfish There have been rumours of a monster catfish living in the Mississippi River for generations. The natives spoke about a catfish so large it could eat a full-grown man. Some people say the monster catfish has eyes like a giant squid and a mouth as big as a dumpster. Well, a resident of Alton really did catch a monster catfish and it was actually the biggest ever pulled out of the Mississippi River. Could this be the aquatic beast people have been gossiping about? An expert fisherman named Red Mudger first hooked the fish in 1902. He struggled with a catfish the size of a horse but never managed to catch it. After Red's failure with the catfish, he warned his neighbours that the creature he saw in the river was so big that it could eat anyone that went swimming, and that everyone should be extremely careful. Everyone was worried for a bit, but nobody saw the monster again and then forgot about it. It would be over a hundred years later before the catfish was finally caught. It happened in 2016. Red's great-grandson was the one to finally cast his line and reel in the monster fish. It happened unexpectedly one day while out fishing in the river. He realised he had a huge fish on the end of his line and it was probably the same monster catfish from his great-grandfather's story. He was quite determined to catch it and therefore prove his great-grandfather wasn't a delusional drunk and that the beast was real. It took about an hour with help from the Coast Guard and 14 men to get the enormous catfish out of the river. In the end, it turned out to be 736 pounds, over 330 kilos, and about 170 years old. That made it the heaviest and oldest fish ever caught. But unfortunately, this story has never been authenticated, and so far as experts are concerned, it may never have even happened. Catfish can't survive over 170 years. Most catfish only live to be about 30. Also, the official record for the biggest catfish ever came from Thailand and was 100 pounds or 45 kilos less. Number 9. Message in a Bottle Christian Santos was spearfishing when he caught something more than a little unexpected. He found a plastic bottle with something curious inside just floating in the water. Curious, Christian snatched it up and opened the bottle and discovered a note. He couldn't believe it. He had caught a real message in a bottle. The note, oddly enough, was written by a 13-year-old kid who had been visiting a relative in Rhode Island from Vermont and thought it would be fun to write down his email on a piece of paper, stuff the paper into a bottle and see if anyone ever emailed him. It took two and a half years for the bottle to be found. The young spear fisherman actually caught it in Portugal near the famous Azores Islands. The bottle had drifted all the way across the ocean on a journey that was no doubt perilous. Christian did email the address in the message but has yet to receive a response. Chances are the kid who sent it all those years ago already forgot about it. The email probably went straight to his spam folder. Have you ever written a message and stuffed it inside a bottle for someone else to find? If so, what did it say? Number 8. The Walking River Monster In Japan, you don't have to go far to find a legitimate river monster. A group of friends were just hanging out and strolling along the Kamigawa River in Kyoto when they saw something that scared the pants off them. There was a literal monster walking along the path beside the river. They thought it was some kind of dangerous beast and figured they should probably phone the police. 
only one person in the group was brave enough to take a brief video of the animal, which turned out to be a giant Japanese salamander, a nocturnal creature that once populated many of the fresh rivers throughout Japan, but has since been put on the endangered species list. You might be wondering how a group of friends could have been scared by a salamander. After all, aren't salamanders only a few inches long? In North America, they are absolutely small, but salamanders are all over the world, and in Japan and China, the giant salamander can actually grow to incredible sizes, over five feet or one and a half meters long. These things are bigger than most people's dogs. No wonder the group of friends was scared. Nobody is sure what the monster was doing wandering out in the open like that. But by the time anyone showed up to investigate, the beast had slithered back into the water. Number seven. The body in Central Park Lake. There is only one thing in the world that no fisherman wants to catch, a dead human body. But that's exactly what happened at around 11 o'clock in the morning when Louis Castoir cast his line in the Central Park Lake. It was his first catch of the day and he was excited because it felt like a pretty big fish. But then, according to NBC New York, Louis' excitement turned to horror as he realized he had just reeled in a corpse. He saw the leg come up, then the remainder of the body slowly rose to the surface. Louis has been fishing in Central Park since he was just a boy, and yet in all those years he never imagined he would catch a dead person. In a statement given by Louis himself, he called the incident devastating and said he couldn't even believe it with his own eyes. The fisherman quickly called the police, who later identified the victim as a guy in his 30s from Harlem who had suffered a mysterious head wound. As of now, they haven't released any information as to the deceased's identity or what kind of crime he was the victim of. Castoir is still trying to process what happened and said he is unsure if he'd ever be able to come back to the place where he'd spent many happy days relaxing. I don't think I will be able to come back to this park. This is like my backyard. I don't think personally I could come back to this place and be able to fish here. Knowing that I hooked up a body, Castoir said. This was the third time a body had been found in Central Park that month. A man in his 50s was found dead on the west side of the park last week, while another man was found floating in a pond near 59th Street on September 7. What would you do if you were fishing and reeled in a body? Let us know in the comments section down below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. The Biggest Alligator Gar A world record was recently made in Lake Chotard, Mississippi. Commercial fisherman Kenny Williams was pulling up his final net of the morning when he saw the biggest alligator gar he had ever seen in his whole life. Amazingly, he caught the gar completely by accident in his net, and he barely had enough room in his tiny 16-foot or 4.5 metre aluminium boat to store the beast. His boat was literally filled to the brim with fish. Now, Kenny is no stranger to alligator gar. After all, he catches them quite frequently. The biggest difference is that he normally catches alligator gar that are about 3 feet or 1 metre and 30 pounds or 13 kilos in size. The one we're talking about was almost 9 feet or 2.7 metres and officially weighed 327 pounds, that's 148 kilograms. This made it a world record. According to biologists, this was the biggest alligator gar seen by human eyes ever. The previous record holder was from Texas in 1951 and only weighed 279 pounds or 127 kilos. Number five, mysterious math cubes. A magnet fisherman in England pulled a mysterious collection of artifacts out of a shallow river and nobody seems to know what they are. Magnet fishermen often find things like ammunition, jewelry, and even precious objects in rivers, lakes, and streams. But this time, the fisherman pulled out 60 engraved metal cubes that may have been used for fortune telling. Nobody knows how they got into the river or how old they may be, though some estimates have placed the oldest of the cubes at being 6,000 years old. Each cube is divided into grids and within each grid is a strange alchemical symbol. Apparently, each symbol holds some curious universal value. The cubes may have been used as offerings in prayer, as part of a mysterious ritual, or by an old mystic who was trying to see into the future. But considering the symbols on the cubes appear to be from Hindu astrology and the Hindu religion only found a foothold in England about 500 years ago, it makes no sense that the cubes could have been in the river for 6,000 years, back before even Stonehenge was built. Number four, mutant fish. A fisherman recently hauled a mutant out of the Connecticut River. It wasn't a green super mutant with seven eyes and huge muscles and a bad attitude. It was actually a mutant carp. 
The discovery was made after a bad day of fishing, with Jimmy Ayala feeling pretty upset about a day of poor catches. But just before he packed it in, he hooked a 25 pound or 11 kilo fish, an absolute beast of an animal. But there was something not quite right about it. As things turned out, the carp had a rare combination of genetic mutations. It was a golden bronze fish with strange fins. It appeared to be the mixture between a fantail carp and a mirror carp. The fish had the fins of a fantail with the distinct scales of a mirror, something normally not seen in nature. The fish was also estimated to be 15 years old, and in fish years, that's ancient. Number 3. Witch Bottle Bartender Shane Mears likes to find things washed up on the shore. He's an eclectic guy who uses a thin steel rod to prod the dirt as he wanders along the edges of rivers looking for treasure. He's been doing this for years. When his steel rod hits something hard or he hears a crunch, he gets on his hands and knees and starts digging. Believe it or not, Shane catches a lot of very cool stuff using this method. Just recently, while checking out the foundation of a construction site on Brooklyn Avenue just beside the river, he found animal bones, an old woman's shoe from the 1800s and a glass bottle left behind by a witch. The site was over the remains of a house that had just been torn down. It seems the house may have belonged to a legitimate American witch. It was the bottle filled with hair and teeth and a murky liquid that really shocked Shane as experts say it was probably a bottle made by a woman practicing magic as a means to influence fate, either to get rich, to fall in love, or even to cause horrible pain to the person in possession of the bottle and its gross contents. What kind of spell do you think the witch was trying to cast? Number 2. Accidental Crocodile A pair of fishermen accidentally hooked a saltwater crocodile. It happened in Queensland, Australia, when a pair of friends were out simply trying to catch a couple of fish. They were using ordinary 12 pound or 5.5 kilo fishing lines, standard bait, and had never expected that a crocodile over 6 feet or 1.8 metres long would latch onto the line and nearly pull one of the guys off the boat. The issue with catching a crocodile on the end of your fishing line is that you probably won't get the line back. As soon as the croc realised it was hooked, it began to freak out. It thrashed in the water, rolled frantically and tried its hardest to break free, which of course only made the crocodile even more tangled up in the line. It also kept drawing closer and closer to the boat. Luckily, these fishermen weren't amateurs. They managed to safely get the reptile untangled and let it swim back into the water, probably confused and more than a little overwhelmed. Number 1. Kentucky Lake Monster A woman from Tennessee reeled in a legit monster catfish on Kentucky Lake. This was a real river monster that actually existed. According to Fox News, Paula Cathy Smith managed to catch an 88 pound or 40 kilogram catfish, which was a personal best and the biggest she'd ever seen in all her years of fishing. Even more amazing is that she had been on a month long dry streak just before. She caught the prize fish after only 30 minutes of being out on the water. It may not have been 736 pounds like the catfish from Mississippi we talked about earlier, but at least this one is certified real. Paula never took the fish home to eat it though as after she had a photo shoot with the huge and very slippery catfish, she threw it back into the water. 10. Goblin Shark As you go deeper and deeper into the vast ocean, the kinds of sharks you encounter get creepier and creepier. There's no better example of this than the Goblin Shark. This species of ghoulish shark lives at the very bottom of our ocean, primarily near the continental shelves. These are the edges of our continents, According to National Geographic, they grow up to be about 12 feet or 3.6 meters in length and over 450 pounds or 204 kilos. The main reason they are so terrifying is because, well, they honestly look like something you would only see in your worst nightmares. They have super narrow noses and sharp teeth that look a lot like vampire fangs. A Japanese fisherman accidentally caught one of these sharks and couldn't help but notice the protruding snout which reminded him of legends about a long-nosed, red-faced demon known as the Tengu. So, they started calling the species Tengu Zame. Zame means shark in Japanese, and this was translated into English as goblin shark. Unfortunately for us, because they live so incredibly deep, scientists don't know a lot about their behavior or why exactly they look the way they do. What we do know is that they are pretty slow creatures. They don't exactly swim fast. The goblin shark also has the disgusting ability to extend their jaws out 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters to catch prey. 
kind of like the xenomorph from the Alien movies. 9. Humpback Anglerfish There are a lot of different kinds of anglerfish in the ocean. These fish are easily recognizable because of the light bulb organ that sticks out of their head and dangles in front of their mouth like an illuminated fishing lure. But the deeper you go in the ocean, the more terrifying the anglerfish get. The scariest of all is the humpback anglerfish, which is only about 7 inches or 18 centimeters long. But for what it lacks in size, it makes up for in creepiness. These fish live about 6,600 feet or roughly 2 kilometers deep in an area of the ocean completely devoid of sunlight. Here are some characteristics of the humpback anglerfish that will paint you a clearer picture of just how creepy looking they really are. They have massive mouths and huge stomachs along with ridiculously pointy teeth for skewering unsuspecting prey. The lure growing off their head is used to attract prey and is actually filled with bacteria that glows in the dark. In the darkness where they live, other fish see this little light and are attracted to it. Once they get close enough to it, the anglerfish opens its jaws wide and gobbles them up. The fish is also able to hide or reveal its lure thanks to the muscular skin flaps on its head. What a sentence! This is one fish that people don't particularly want to eat. Nobody wants to stick one of these ugly fish on their dinner plate, but honestly, the brave people that have tasted this bizarre looking fish said that it actually tastes a lot like lobster. Interesting. Because of how deep they live, fishing has basically no effect on their population. So, even though the humpback angler is probably not that rare, it's been pretty hard to study. 8. Elbow Tentacles A squid with elbow tentacles was recently discovered by science and, well, it's absolutely horrifying. It looks like an alien and has only ever been seen 12 times in the wild. A recent expedition off the coast of Australia witnessed five of these monsters, the first time multiple alien squid have been caught hanging out in the same place. They also captured footage of the animal for the first time, revealing just how strange this deep-sea creature really is. It's called the Big Fin Squid. It lives about 15,000 feet or around 5 kilometers beneath the surface and the species is exceptionally unique in the world of cephalopods because of its giant Dumbo-like fins and long and stringy tentacles. Scientists were able to measure one of the specimens using lasers, of course. They found its head was about 6 inches or 15 centimeters and the rest of its body, made up of tentacles sprouting from what appear to be elbows, was 5.9 feet or 1.8 meters. As you can tell, its tentacles were way bigger than its noggin. Unfortunately, considering how rare the big fin squid is, scientists don't know exactly what it does. They estimate the big fin can grow to be at least 22 feet or about 7 meters. Unlike other cephalopods, the big fin squid has its tentacles jutting out at strange angles, causing them to look all tangled and messy in the water like floating spaghetti or extremely messy bedhead. Scientists still don't know what it even uses its tentacles for. Do you have any ideas for the use of these tentacles? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. 7. Snailfish Marine biologists from Tokyo and New Zealand recently discovered a new species of fish deep in the ocean in an area where they didn't think any fish actually lived. It's a type of snailfish and they found it at just shy of 7,000 meters or around 23,000 feet in an ocean trench off the coast of Peru in the Southeast Pacific Ocean. Prior to this discovery, not a single fish has ever been captured in the area. Along with the strange fish, researchers witnessed eels and giant shrimp also residing in the depths. These might also be new species, but scientists still need to do a little bit more studying before they determine that. As for the snailfish, it's a weird one. Scientists weren't actually able to catch it. All they could do was take pictures of it. The fish is completely white. It has weird fins sticking out of its body like pale bat wings, and it seems to have two black eyes on the top of its head. Nobody knows what it eats or why it lives in such a remote and inhospitable part of the ocean, but it's definitely creepy. 6. Mariana Jelly in the Mariana Trench, which is the absolute deepest and most mysterious part of the entire ocean, scientists discovered a strange glowing jellyfish that was previously unknown to the world. This was thanks to scientists aboard the research vessel Oceanos Explorer with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. 
They were surveying the waters around the trench when they came across a jellyfish that looked like a flying saucer. The jelly was red and yellow, it had its tentacles spread out like a net to catch unsuspecting prey, and it was living 2.3 miles, or 3.7 kilometers, beneath the surface. This is one of the deepest jellies ever found. It still doesn't even have a name yet. Do you have any name ideas? Drop it in the comments. As for why it was glowing, scientists believe it probably developed the ability as a way to attract food, aka prey. Small fish and sea creatures move towards its glowing body and get trapped in its net of tentacles, much like the lure of the anglerfish we mentioned previously. 5. Fish with Super Sight There are fish that live so deep in the ocean, in places where sunlight can't reach, that have developed supervision. According to evolutionary biologists, this amazing ability is gifted to fish that live in the darkest parts of the ocean thanks to an increase in the rhodopsins genes. These genes produce retinal proteins capable of detecting dim light. When the genes increase enough, the fish are able to see even the smallest bit of light. Even more incredible is that the extra genes sometimes diversify to produce proteins which allow the fish to capture photons at multiple wavelengths. What this means is that some fish, even as they swim through total darkness, thousands of feet beneath the surface, see in perfect color. It's like wearing night vision goggles, only way better. One of these perceptive fish is the creepy silver spiny fin. It lives about 3,000 feet or 915 meters deep and has been discovered with specialized rod cells inside its eyes that allow it to see in ultra-low light. The rods inside its eyes have been developed in such a way that they're stacked to see what few photons are available at such depths. This is why the anglerfish's glowing lure and the jellyfish's glowing body are such great adaptions in the deep. Animals like the silver spiny fin can see these glowing signals like a forest fire from a mountaintop in the dead of night. 4. Deep Sea Monster Recently, a rather terrifying looking fish from the deep sea washed up on a beach in California in 2021 and nobody could figure out exactly what it was. The fish was found just lying on the sandy shore. Its body was entirely black, like jet black without a single hint of color. Even the disgusting fangs sticking out of its mouth were black, as if covered in some kind of weird wet ink. It was about the size of a football with a long stalk emerging from its head, looking like a broken piece of celery. At the end of the stalk were white tips experts say were probably bioluminescent. Judging by the size of its gaping mouth, this animal, when alive, could swallow prey the size of its body. Yikes! After the fish was discovered on the beach and curious witnesses uploaded photos online, experts came forward to identify it as a football fish. The football fish lives at least 3,300 feet, or just over a kilometer beneath the surface in darkness, and is one of the over 200 species of anglerfish. The only other blackfish specimen was caught back in 1985 by fishermen in Monterey Bay who accidentally trapped one in their net. It's such a rare fish that the specimen from 85 is still housed in the San Francisco Museum. 3. The Black Swallower The Black Swallower has the most impressive stomach of any deep-sea fish, and with a name like that, that fact is pretty easy to believe, right? To give you an idea of how much food this fish can really eat, imagine stuffing yourself on an entire goat, swallowing the bones and everything, and then letting it digest inside your stomach, which in this fantasy is basically double the size of yourself. This is the black swallower, only around 10 inches or 25 centimeters long, yet capable of consuming fish significantly bigger than itself. It has a stomach that expands, much like a snake. This deep sea adaption is so incredibly effective that it can really eat a fish twice its own size then keep it trapped inside its expanded stomach while the prey decomposes. This is helped by gas released from the stomach, which helps to quickly decompose whatever the fish just stuffed into its greedy face. These gases are so strong in its stomach that they can actually force the fish up from its home, thousands of feet in the blackness of the ocean, so high that it ends up bobbing on the surface. The range in which this fish lives is enormous and covers most parts of the ocean's waters, preferably in subtropic and tropic areas. It's impossible to determine how many individuals of this species are actually lurking in the ocean right now because their range is so huge they are listed as least concern in the ICUN Red List. This means this species is far from being an endangered one, and because their conditions aren't likely to change anytime soon, this status will likely be the same for a long time to come. 2. Armoured Sea Robin 
It doesn't get much creepier than the armored sea robin. It's a super creepy fish that lives relatively deep, around 1,000 feet or 304 meters beneath the surface. Like our friend the goblin shark, it also kind of looks like an evil demon fish. It has red, pinkish skin. Its head is very large and its body looks like the end of some medieval weapon. It also has a pair of pointy whiskers covered in what seem to be spikes. It's not the prettiest animal in the ocean, and you should probably stay far away from it. The armored sea robin belongs to the Peristetidae family, of which there are about 45 species. It really does have armor, too. Covering the sea robin's body are bony scutes that act as nearly impenetrable armor. But because its body is so slim, it doesn't look very strong. Instead, it looks charmingly like half of someone's spine covered in red gunk just crawling across the seabed. Number 1. Glowing Shark Scientists have made what can only be described as the coolest ocean discovery of the century. According to Smithsonian Magazine, researchers off the coast of New Zealand have discovered a glowing shark living deep in the ocean. It's called the kite fin shark, and it's one of three species now known to science that literally glows in the dark. The shark can grow to be about 6 feet or 1.8 meters long, and it gives off a cool blue luminescence. It's actually the biggest known species of vertebrate on Earth that glows. It was found in 2020 at a depth of 3,300 feet or just over a kilometer beneath the surface. As we already know from all the creepy animals we looked at today, glowing in the deep ocean is pretty common. However, this is the first time the biomechanical mechanism was found in a shark. Researchers haven't figured out how the sharks glow or even why. One theory is that its glowing belly could make it more difficult to see by fish beneath it. Thanks to its shimmering stomachs, it just kind of blends in with the upper luminous atmosphere of the ocean. And at the same time, its belly helps to illuminate the ocean beneath it, almost like a helicopter spotlight that helps in the never-ending search for food. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite deep sea monster? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time! Bye!